y'all what y'all think about my husband's painting at the back he's like babe put this on can you see Welcome back to my channel. I've been gone for a little bit, but I am back. Um, I have some couple of things I want to try. This eyeshadow that came out from Vanessa. So I really want to try that out with you guys. Um, this is from Juvie's Place. This girl, like, she's one of my favorites. Favorites. Like, all she does is just flawless. Is flawless her eyeshadow looks her hair her makeup like every time she posts you just like whoo you know it's just so good i am so happy to try this out with you guys so she's got these colors here like six colors in that so i'm literally gonna wing it oh i thought that was gold but it's actually like a pinky like iridescent pinky like i'm so excited to try this out i've got other couple of products that i want to try as well so i have already done my eyebrow we're just gonna start off with the foundation i've been wanting to try born this way i know i'm late because i was just obsessed with fenty beauty so i need to try out more foundations and try out what's good what's what and that so i really want to keep doing this where i try out new products okay well, let's see how it looks okay so i must say this is this is good <laughs> i kind of laid those edges today I never thought I had edges guys, literally. So I do like it. I didn't get any new contour. I am going to use Ellie Girl Pro Contour. I've not used this in ages. I am literally just obsessed with Revolution. This is in the shade Toffee. I usually use Fawn, but Toffee is good too. It's When you find what works for you, just go for it. I just do it like this. Sometimes. I am using for contour it's actually cream to powder foundation it's by Milani cream and it does go into powder later like look at that can I tell you a story guys I used to hate my forehead I used to hate my forehead I used to be teased you know in africa in you know zimbabwe where where i grew up as a child and in here as well i used my cousin used to always say oh you've got that forehead that looks like you know the the double deck of buses and stuff and i used to like i used to laugh but then i didn't understand i didn't think that it really affected me to the point where i stopped wearing my hair like I, I I stopped doing braids, I stopped doing cornrows like this. I literally stopped and then I I think it was the age of sixteen, that was the last time I had braids. And then I was like I was like, I'm not going to wear braids anymore, I'm going to wear wigs. Because I, I think that's when wigs literally started trending then. And you know wigs, you can just literally pull them forward. Oh, I used to have wave that will always cover my forehead. I'm telling you guys, words are so powerful. If you don't, like, words can damage, complete damage, you know. I don't, like, blame my family or my cousins for, like, joking around. Like, it, you know, you joke around with family, it is what it is. Like, but it really affected me. I don't, like hold it against them but it really like trash like really hurt my self self esteem and i hated my forehead from then i would literally wear like hair covering the lace frontals came i was just like thank god i can finally hide this hideous forehead like 
words are so powerful and then the funny thing is the devil played on those words <laughs> oh yeah but i'm just blending the concealer out now i like to leave it to dry a little bit words are so powerful they damage so you, sh you really have to be careful what you say to people it doesn't mean you can't joke around and that you can but i think i let it get get to me so much i was so like sensitive as a child get to me to the point i was like no i will never wear my hair like that so god literally delivered me and helped me you know it's only god because for 11 years or 16 11 years yes 11 years because i'm 28 now and i didn't know that it was such a stronghold in my mind of not wanting to wear my hair out i didn't know i just thought no i don't really like hair like that <laughs> i didn't know so i think until god showed me that you know this is what hurt you this is what damaged you you know you need to get over this he broke all those strongholds that i that i had um that damaged me and said and made me feel i can't wear my hair like this because of my the way my head is come on you know like i love like kenyan people they richly embrace some kenyan people embrace their foreheads like they'll wear the, the most pulled back hairstyle to show their forehead like and then but i was so blinded i didn't see because there was such you know when you can't see something and that you're under is a stronghold in your mind and only god and you can break that when i mean god and you can break it because you also have to recognize that when god show it to you you have to also like okay i'm gonna renounce this i'm enough i'm beautiful you know we're made into the image of god so we are supposed to say our words have to we need to be careful of what we say because they can like the bible says uh, life and death are in the path of the tongue you know and also jesus said like every word that you say you are accountable for it i'm gonna you know, you're accountable for whatever comes out of your mouth hey guys now i'm gonna try uh huda beauty banana bread i'm not baking yet that smells good i'm not baking yet i'm just setting that concealer so we just have to be careful what we say watch words because it can affect someone i think obviously the my family just joked around with me but like i feel like you know the devil took advantage of that you know scene that affected me and all that so it's not thing to do with my family they just said what they said and it took hold and it made a stronghold okay so i'm just gonna bake now because i'm gonna i'm actually excited to try this palette i'm gonna try this palette it smells good it smells good 11 years later nyasha was set free from that stronghold God is good. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have stories literally. Yo, this powder is smells so good. It smells like perfume. Huda Beauty. I love my wigs still. Love them, but I'm not gonna be pushing them forward to cover my forehead no more. <laughs> I have been set free and whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Ah! I'm so excited to try this. So we about to try, we about to try. So she's got some beautiful eyeshadows. This are stunning. There's one called Extra and this is that one here. Extra. And it's kind of pinky. It looks pink on the camera, but it's like gold as well. 
and there's one called perfectionist and it's this one here and there is bcg i don't know why that stands for but it's this like breaky red and the aqua is like this one it's like a pinky like like dark pink i don't even think there's something called dark pink but whatever <laughs> and then we got stush a and we got busy okay i think i'm gonna go in with stush let's zoom in zoom in Stunning. I'm just gonna do one eye and then we'll try the other one and then next I'm going to go in with the beautiful brown I'm just gonna because I want it to be kind of up instead of down at this crease I'm not cutting it all the way so and we're going in with Perfectionist, which is this color. And then we're going to go in with a core. I'm just going to do the other eye. Um, these colors are gorgeous. So I went and finished up the eyes and put eyeliner and also lashes off camera. Well, under the eyes, I wanted to just do something a little, a little more different because it's a bit chilled at the bottom. So I'm going to start off with that stush again to just put under the eyes and just brush it under there like that so it's like a transitioning a color we could just finish off here but i wanted to just use a little bit more of just to make use of this palette now i'm gonna go with aqua and just press the eyeshadow in. Just so I went ahead and just did some mascara and the eyeshadow underneath. Um, as you can see, uh, now I will just put a little bit of powder on my face just to even everything out. Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronze oh, and it's in in robe. It's just beautiful. It's beautiful for people with dark skin. You know, if you're a dark girl like me, this is beautiful. Some people you can even use this as like a blusher as well. So I'm just bronzing up that skin. And for blusher, I'm going to go in with this one called Stish. I am, so I'm really just using it all for everything. Just put in. It's like a beautiful, corally orange. Beautiful on the skin. Beautiful. 
and using my new luminous spray like i said i always use continuous up this time i'm using this one new one new product called luminous setting spray um i'm trying it i'm so used to the continuous one so let's see Smells like apples. Oof. So I went on to put something a little more cozy and cute. You can use it for eyeshadow. You can use it for blusher. You can use it for contouring, even a bronzer. That's a bronzer here. And in with um, extra, this one. I'm gonna use that for a little bit of highlight on the cheeks and you see oh 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 my gosh honey it's stunning it's beautiful I don't know if you guys can see that It's not even like too much as well. And it's got that little pretty like iridescent pink in it as well. So I like that. Let me just zoom in so you can see. Mm. It's like a glow instead of like highlight. And I really like that. Can I put that on my nose as well? just i would put a little bit because you have <laughs> and just on my on my lip area mm -hmm. i love that and i'm gonna just put a little bit more of stush i didn't get her lip li her lipsticks and the lip glosses i have this one that i used on my other videos it's similar to hers so that's the one i'm gonna use I'm just gonna line my lips. And I'll use my gloss. This one is from Revolution Pro called Summer. It smells so good. this is the final look guys i mean honestly i like i loved every little products that i tried i love 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 this palette here go get one for yourself it's so versatile there's so much you can do with it i was thinking oh it's only six eyeshadows what am i gonna do with just six you know it's so versatile and I even put some in my waterline. I don't know if you can see that through the camera. I used a bit of that goldy iridescent pink just to put in my waterline as well. Uh, I love also the Huda Beauty uh, banana bread. I really like it. It's not too much. It's bright, but it doesn't come up too much on your skin. Like the Luminous Spray is beautiful from Mophie. I love this. I'm gonna have all the products that i have used in this video down in the link in the description link click the arrow down it literally shows all the products links where to get everything um i hope you enjoyed this video guys with a little story that i had to tell you about why about wearing braids and stuff uh, there's always a story to everything everybody has a story don't they um uh, really you hope you enjoyed this look yeah i hope you enjoy the rest of your day or night um don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you so much for watching uh god bless bye